and most parts of the country will experience some rains this week. However, the climate outlook for the October, November, December 2022 short rain season indicates that most parts of the country are likely to experience depressed rainfall. The Kenya Meteorological Department attributes this to the La Nina weather phenomenon, which is likely to prolong the devastating drought conditions in the country. According to the Kenya Meteorological Department, the country's current drought is associated with La Nina, a weather phenomenon that is a reverse of El Nino. The weatherman says that it will persist through the months of November and December. The short rain season, which falls in October, November and December, is planting season in the central and southeastern regions of the country. The below average rains will affect farmers in these regions. What we had issued uh, earlier in the season, indicated that uh, at least most parts of the country were likely to receive depressed rainfall and increased probabilities are likely over the eastern sector and the more, that is the and as well as the northern sector and that includes most of the asal regions in the country except for some regions in western kenya uh, where we had predicted uh, continued rainfall uh, big, uh, even in september and into october and uh, in the peak month of November. So uh, these are the regions where we expect normal rainfall. Otherwise, most parts of the country, the chances for below ra rainfall is uh, about 45% uh, for the far western part of the country and at least 65%. And that has been projected to continue at least until uh, uh, the coming uh, season. Uh, this is mainly attributed to uh, the La Nina phase. Uh, this La Nina is usually associated with depressed rainfall over much of East Africa. So La Nina is, a, is, a, is an event where uh, most parts of the tropical Pacific Ocean has below average sea surface temperatures, and that mainly results in depressed rainfall over much of East Africa. And it's likely to be the fifth uh, season which has failed consecutively. And uh, not just in the amount of rainfall, but also in the distribution, both uh, uh, temporal and uh, spatial distribution, because uh, we could have some rainfall, but it's not well distributed across uh, the counties. We had indicated that uh, rainfall was to continue over parts of western Kenya uh, from September, and at least uh, for areas in central Rift Valley and the Highlands East, uh, at least in the fourth week of October, which we have noticed uh, this week, at least into the first week of November. And for parts of southeastern Kenya, uh, we had anticipated the rains to begin at least in the first or the second week of November. This week, uh, we are likely to see uh, several parts of the, of the country achieving uh, significant rainfall, uh, moderate to heavy rainfall in some areas, uh, and that is likely to at least give us a relief uh, on the drought situation. For Western Kenya, it is a continuation from what has been going on. Uh, there has been rainfall in these regions for Central uh, Rift Valley and parts of uh, the Highlands East, including Nairobi County. Uh, for Northeastern Kenya, the north, upper northern part of uh, Northeastern Kenya, that includes uh, Marsabit and Mandera and Wajia counties. Uh, these are regions where we expect uh, significant rainfall uh, this week and is a continuation of the rainfall that has been experienced uh, in the past uh, weekend. Uh, we are expecting depressed rainfall over most parts of the country, and especially in November, uh, which is the peak month of the rainy season, uh, the R&D rainy season. So uh, farmers are best advised to work with the Ministry of Agriculture, plant early maturing crops which are drought resistant and of course we encourage uh, people to do water harvesting uh, to, to enable them to gather enough water or harvest enough water.